Another really important um, linkage was tying it directly to our people leader objective. So at our organization, we have a, a performance program like most where we have objectives that are established and 15% of our total end year performance is, a, is based on behaviors. And we put facilitative leadership as the behavior you needed to be measured on in 2022 and 2023 with examples of how to show that. And you were measured on that at your mid-year and your end year. So you would actually receive part of your annual return on your performance based on your performance objectives. So were you as a leader individually being accountable and recording the impact you had with your, your approach to facilitative leadership? And another big one we did is making sure we understood the in the field observation. So we do something called observation and coaching. It's a practice to use to help us again, improve and be aware of our behaviors in the field. So we made sure that there was actually actions um, by individuals post to go out in the field and perform observation and coaching on each other and track it in our tracking system. So we could actually see where are we meeting expectation? Where's an improvement of opportunity? and tracking that and reporting it out to our sponsor and oversight committee. So we see the behavior, behavior in the field and this is where we can show it and it's on the actual learner to do that work. And the last thing we also wanted to start doing is just where can people start to recognize and call out the success of their facilitative leadership behaviors. So again, leveraging an existing system, we have something called a value in action app or via app in grown application where it's a recognition app. And hashtag facilitative leadership within two years had 800 mentions. You had people naturally organically seeing facilitative leadership behaviors in the field and celebrating their peer, colleague, leader, whomever, and seeing that was naturally happening. And it wasn't about a training impact. It was literally seeing those behaviors in the field. Um, and very, uh, again, reporting that, seeing that, and then our brilliant change in comms um, lead would then double tap on a couple of them, go out and interview them and create leader articles where we would promote the program and what it was about in the context of some of those leader examples. And I'll drop her name, Twyla, who's a phenomenal at understanding how that became a key component of keeping the message going. So even if I attended the training 12 months ago, I still see it, I understand it. Click our link and find all the job aids and all the things you can bring back and remember what it is that, that you learned in that classroom that you're starting to see and, and put it into practice.